the quick hit on the easy I.O. insertion. Here's the basic equipment you're going to need. I want to highlight that the 45 millimeter needle, the yellow one, is the needle of choice for your proximal humerus insertion in any patient that's a code within the hospital. When locating the proximal humerus site of insertion, remember you're looking for the greater tubercle, the surgical neck of that bone, which you can feel as it comes up the shoulder. You want to go approximately two centimeters above it. Your insertion of your needle is a 45 degree angle. Remember that the reference point is you're going to aim at the opposite hip. So I've located my landmark for insertion in the proximal humerus location. I'm at a 45 degree angle to the patient's opposite hip. I insert the needle till I hit bone, drill the needle into place, unlock. I know that my placement is good because my needle is secure and stable in the bone. I'm going to unscrew the trocar, remove it, attach the IO stabilizer in position. And then I'm going to hook up my Easy I.O. connector. Once that's connected, I'm going to withdraw a little bit and see if I can get bone marrow. If that's just a second way of confirming proper placement. And then I'm going to do a rapid 10 cc flush to create the pocket in the bone marrow for good IV fluid infiltration. Please don't forget after inserting the Easy I.O., to attach an armband to your patient, which documents the date and the time that it was inserted, that has to be removed per policy within 24 hours. This is the quick hit information on administering lidocaine via the IO on a conscious patient. Remember that lidocaine is a pink box. There's 100 milligrams in five cc's. So there's 20 milligrams per one cc. When we administer lidocaine to a conscious patient feeling pain via the Easy IO Quick Connect catheter, remember that this catheter contains one cc, which equals 20 milligrams of lidocaine. So as we pre-fill this syringe prior to insertion of the Easy IO needle, connects as such. This comes apart, flush out the air, hook the catheter up to your lidocaine syringe, and you pre-flush this with one cc of the lidocaine, which is 20 milligrams of medication. So after the needle's inserted, remember that we hook lidocaine up first to the conscious patient and we want to instill a total of 40 milligrams of lidocaine over two minutes, so extremely slow. So in your syringe that you have here, remember since you already have one cc in here, you only want to push one cc out of the syringe at this time. So over one minute, you're just going to slowly push to allow the lidocaine to soak into the bone to numb the area where we're going to do a rapid 10 cc flush following this lidocaine administration. So after you get one cc instilled, you want to remove the lidocaine syringe and hook up a saline syringe and continue your slow infusion of the one cc of lidocaine still existing within your catheter to complete your 40 milligrams administered to your patient. 